Sorting and storing your Lego can be a massive challenge. There are so many different accessories these days, which is absolutely fantastic, but it means that they're also really, really easy to lose because they're really, really tiny. And if you lose them, then you don't want to play with the rest of the sets and, and then your mum threatens to give them away because you're not playing with them anymore and you really don't want that to happen. So. I've got some various ways that I store my Lego. I've already shown you how I display my really special mini dolls and I thought I might show you how I am currently storing the rest of my duplicates and accessories. In fact, that is exactly what Buzzling Chen Shiners are, so I'm going to answer that today in the video. This is how I store my duplicate mini dolls and I love how polite you were, Buzzling. You are so sweet. And uh, Laura asked a very valid question about where is Skyra from the Lego Elves? Because she is a unique character of which there was only one mini doll ever released but there is a reason she's not up on my display board and I will tell you soon why that is so and Emma who is one of my super fans and always leaves the most fantastic comments has asked if I would show you how I do my nails now if you're interested in me doing a video on how I do my nails please leave a comment below and if there's enough interest I will do a video on it though I suspect it won't be as interesting as you think it is but if you're interested I will do a video so let's put my storage hat on <laughs> see what I did there and let's have a look at how I'm storing things now. Now there are so many accessories and mini doll parts and minifigure parts and animals and just so much stuff that I have got various different ways that I store them now. I've progressed from putting my bigger pieces in the clip lock boxes that I had them in and I showed you in my previous sorting video. I'm now using the inlays and I'm putting the, them into pull out drawers on a trolley. So this trolley is on wheels which means I can move it around to wherever I'm working and because the drawers pull entirely out I can just pull those drawers out, use them and then put them away easily without having to worry about fiddling with lids. It's just super tidy and super easy. Easy. Now, if you are interested in one of these trolleys, I've actually got some links in the description box down below where you can buy them. And if you use those links, I will get a teeny tiny percentage of the purchase price and that will help support me and I will love you. Now, I've actually put some labels on the front. This one doesn't have anything written on the label yet, uh, but here's the one that I have for the mini doll parts. So labeling them also helps and the fact that color coded helps too. Now, in this particular box, I'm keeping all of the costumes as well as many of them as I currently have. There's Buzz Lightyear, we had a cactus we've got the chicken head most of these have come off mini figures not mini dolls but they fit on mini dolls too and I love to play dress up with mini dolls as you already know if you've watched any of my channel <laughs> and this is one of the ones that I cut out from the party mini figures and if with the cutout in the middle of it it means that we can actually put a mini doll let me see if I can find some mini doll parts here you can actually put a mini doll in the middle and and it looks fine it looks perfectly fine Otherwise you can't, you can't really use it. They're putting in sideways if you have not cut out the middle part. So she is currently driving that backwards with no head, but I think you get the point of how it works once I have modified this for the mini dolls. We've got Greek and Roman costumes, lots of ideas here for really, really fun dress ups. That girl's cool little top there. And the tree costume. Oh, this is getting me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally going to get these out as soon as the kids are at school and play with them. Shh, I don't do that. Yes, I do. <laughs> I really do. They're really so fun. What else have we got? This is my favorite drawer to delve into. And this is the, the rubber ducky from the Batman series that I've cut the middle out of. Oh, I've got a whole heap of these brick separators. I've done a video on how to use them and you ask me, where do these come? Well, they actually come in the bigger sets. So you need to keep an eye out for them there. This is actually my cutter, my circle cutter, which I used for making the tutus for making a tutu for mini dolls because they don't currently have tutus for mini dolls, which is just just a crime. So th this is a hold on. That's not a very that's that actually didn't cut it very well in the center. But these are some of the tutus that I've made using this mold and the cutter. And for when I want a bevy of ballerinas, I have got my cutters nice and close at hand. Over here, I've got all my stickers. A lot of these have actually come from a subscription pack that I used to have, which was called Brick Pack, which is now it doesn't exist anymore. But they have got some awesome creative ideas. And the comic books that were actually included in Olivia's parents 
Karen's bedrooms custom build that I did recently, they all came from those particular stickers. And some of the sets come with duplicate sheets of stickers. So when I get a duplicate sheet, I put it in here just in case I want them for some reason. But I've got some awesomely fun ones in here that I'm really gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make some custom builds to go with them. Check these out. These are some of my favorites. They're movie posters for like the lion fig and Jurassic brick. And there's some super fig ones here too. So I might need to make some more mini doll superheroes now that the DC superhero girls have stopped being made. So sad. Okay, well over here, this is hair. Lots and lots of hair. And in the middle, I keep the ones that are really, really common. So all the Mia hair, I have so many of these. So Mia hair, original Olivia hair, uh, Emma hair, and we're, we're still gonna have more of them. Stephanie hair, once again, we're still gonna be getting more of them because they're still the same. Andrea hair, and some of the elves ones, which I've got lots of duplicates of. So with Nida and Ira, uh, and, and if I if I ever want to do some hair modifications like hack into the hair or cut off elves ears That's where I go to first because I know I've got lots of them and over here are the hair that the girls hair Generally, that's m less common. So we've got some really cutie pie stuff here This one was from the vet in the minifigure series and I've never seen that one again Livy's hair in pink and that one was Joy's hair. We haven't seen that in brown again. This is some of the hair pieces. These are some of the hair pieces that I've painted. So Emma's hair in metallic blue and a Harley Quinn. I've got a couple of these and you know what? I actually don't love them. So I might end up customizing them. And Nia's hair from the Ninjago sets, the newer ones. I really like that. Even got a Princess Leia slave, bra I can't even say that, slave braid in here as well. Lots and lots of choices here once again for dress ups. I love dress ups. We got some white hair, which is really useful for when we're doing some older characters or younger characters that want white hair. Love this hair piece. This one actually came off the Lego Dimensions uh, Adventure Time Marceline character. So that was, that was actually really hard to get my hands on and I keep it very safe here. It's very precious. Some more that I've colored and I love them. There's just so many options here. Now over here, I have kept the hair with hats and hats. That's my official name for it. So this one is Stephanie's with the, the visor on it. It's coming one of the, I think that one was from the mall set. And the cat's ears, these are also going to be good for dress ups. It's all good for dress ups. Hats, hats, hats everywhere. Lots of hats. Some hats with hair. This one's off the, uh, the archaeologist, I think, from the minifigures. And some a mohawk. <laughs> There's good stuff in here. I get so excited going through here. A skiing braid there with Emma hair by the look of it. And just so many options. There are turbans in here. Or that one was that one actually came off Sophie from the mall set and some hard hats with some headphones. And oh look and, and mini mini mouse bows. <laughs> so much exciting stuff. And capes. So many choices here. We've got, that's one of the veils that I made for Sophie's wedding. So I always make a practice. <laughs> so I always have a spare, which is nice. Superhero capes, sparkly capes, lots of, oh, that one's got grub all over it. I might have to clean that one up. Ugh, I wonder how I'm gonna get that grub off. I will find out, I'll have an experiment. So lots and lots of choices here. The mini figure capes don't, they swing around a little bit more on the mini dolls than, than they do on minifigures, but they still work. So I like to have them there for dress ups. So many dress up choices. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Now we're up to the body parts drawer. Lots and lots of body parts. <laughs> Sounds terrible. And I've actually added some of my elves duplicates in here because uh, well, I'm really having lots of fun customizing mini dolls, so I need to know what I have lots of. So here we've got a whole load of torsos, and there are some epic looking ones in here. This one's the only one in this design with the swimsuit, with the wetsuit that Mia had. There's Rapunzel top, lots of choices there. And, and over here we've got some legs, lots of legs. A lot of these can go on both boys or girls. So I love, love, love the fact that the Lego friends and, and the mini dolls are actually coming with more sensible shoes. That's the mum in me. So a lot of these are actually got sneakers on. I love the sandals, but sneakers are cool too. And of course, no shoes here for the little mermaid when she turns into a person with legs. 
She's not like she wasn't a person before. And some darker skin characters over here. We got the torsos and the legs together. I've also got Azari, uh, the duplicates over here as well. And you know what? These are there are very few yellow and oranges amongst the lighter skinned pieces. And I love yellow, it's my favorite color. So I love to look in this particular side and see all of that bright yellow and orange. It makes me really, really happy. And nestled in the middle are all the long sleeves and the long pants. Some of these are unisex, so you can use them for boys, so you can use them for girls. Really cool, the skiing gear. Good for when I'm doing Christmas videos or whether it's when it's winter. It's just really cool to have all of these options and some superhero options in here too. This, these pants came from the Flash character and these ones I've got a couple of now and the Magician's Top that Mia wore. So much cool stuff. <laughs> it's really, really good. And Anna has got, we've seen this outfit quite a few times. So I've got that one in there knowing that I can customize it if I want to. Now the heads. <laughs> I also have a box full of heads. <laughs> You're not strange at all, Ellie. Well, I've got a whole heap down here, which you've seen before with all of the original Lego Friends girls heads in them. So Andrea, Mia, Stephanie, Emma, Olivia, and I've got so many of them that this is where I go to first when I'm looking for some for a customized character. Over here, I've got all of the short hair. Here's, uh, here's the Green Ninja Lloyd's hoodie. That's really cool. And of course, most of this is stuff for boys though. You can, of course, you can put them on girls. Pixie cut on girls looks so super cute. I love this hedgehog spiky hair. And uh, look, the Joker's hair has crept in here too though. It's probably more of a dress up one. And a beard. I love it, it's a caveman look. <laughs> or a Hagrid look. Or just a beardy hairy person look. And this opens up so many options. I love having the bald, the bald gray hair. That's really cool. Now up here, I've got, you know, Daniel's a new character and he's really is currently unique. He is, he should be on my display, but I haven't put him up there yet because I don't love him enough. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? But he actually has got, see, these are the other boy faces and they have a different shape. So his face is like the man mini doll shape, but it still looks very boyish. So he's definitely unique at the moment. Boy torsos, which are very, very flat down the front. Got, got a few of them. I've put some of the princes in here too when I've got some duplicates. It's nice to be able to just dig in here and find what I need. Here's the flashes top and here is our naked torso which was just currently released in the resort which is really really cool. Got a few of these Farron tops too from the Lego elves though I have keep the other Lego elves ones somewhere else and I'll show you them in a moment. Boys heads different shape to the men's heads so I keep them separately. <laughs> <laughs> of, course, of course, I'm sure they'd get on if I put them in together, but separate is easier to find. Men torsos are a bit, they're a bit bigger around, around the shoulders. Here we go. Here's one from Frozen, but we could use this for any sort of winter gear or any sort of winter dress up. Though he's kind of distinctive, isn't he? Love this braces guy. And here are our men's heads with beards. And these are where the dads tend to hang out though. Some of, oh, oh look, no, hold on. That's, that, that's Flynn. That's Flynn from the Rapunzel. And I just love the fact that some of them have got much more expressive faces than they used to have. Look, the little co cocked eyebrow there, really cool. That's really, really exciting. And in this one, I've got some of my, my practice pieces. This just kind of the everything compartment. This is my practice Evie head. Uh, and, and a practice apron for the Alice in Wonderland and a practice tail for Cat Noir. And I've got just, just random things in here. There's a little round the, round the middle belty type thing that I can attach stuff to. And some of these heads I've already modified. So this is actually a Zari's face from the Lego elves. And I have already rubbed off or erased, quite literally erased with a pencil eraser, the tattoo markings on her face, which means I can use her for other things now that aren't so magical and fanciful. I've darkened the lips on this little one here, so I've put her in here. And this is Farron's face, I think. So I've taken Farron's markings off. Where are my Farron pieces? Oh, hold on, no, they won't be in there. They'll be in the Lego Elves one, which is down here. Okay, <laughs> we're doing well. These are the heads which are not quite so common. So this is this is my drawer that I don't tend to dig into when I am wanting to customize, but when I want to set up, this is a Livy head. When I want to set up something cool, this is cool. Look, Livy has got lavender eyes, but Vicky has also now got lavender eyes. So that's two Lego Friends characters with lavender eyes now. 
I like that. That's really fun. And Emily Jones is also, we've got quite a few Emily Jones faces. Love her cute little freckles. <laughs> so lots of choices here. And here are the faces that have got markings on them. So mostly from the Lego elves. Oh, hold on. I don't think Emily Jones needs to be in there because she would kind of work with any sort of generic character. But Azari's got the tattooing on her face, markings on her face. We'll move and, and the masks from the superhero girls they kind of don't work for everything so this is where we look when i'm looking for something a bit special over there not that you know the other ones aren't special but <laughs> these ones are a bit different i don't have too many of these skirt pieces and i certainly don't have too many duplicates i do have a few of the anna ones but i've already already modified a few of them and over here i've got all the ladies all the ladies in the house the mums and the teachers and the doctors and the vets and the scientists they're all in here actually they're not because some of the mum characters are actually up on my board <laughs> so we actually don't have a lot of pieces in here actually i need to put i need to move dotty oh that's stephanie's mum's proper top i need to change that over because she obviously is not wearing the right top and there's the teachers uh, for teachers fates i need to put dotty in here eventually at the moment she's still hanging out in the diner but she'll go in here when I need to store her somewhere nice and safe. So that's that box done. Here's my other box. These are my duplicates of characters. The Lego Friends for 2018, the reboot, they have a different look. So at the moment, I'm keeping them together because I don't have too many duplicates. Andrea's got some of the best outfits. She is metallic city, always shiny. Olivia has got a brand new skin color. So this is the these are the only pieces that I have with this skin color. So it's very precious. Keep them here. Stephanie, she's got, I've got, I seem to have a lot of Stephanie's here. Actually, look at this. So this is from the beginning of the year on the left hand side and on the right hand side is the middle of the year face so they've definitely changed oh hold on or if I mark that up has she got the old face on there from the original let me get one of the old faces from the old Lego friends characters because it looks kind of oh no okay so they've definitely modified the facial features halfway through the year which is a good thing because it looks a lot better. <laughs> I was curious. I did think that that had happened, but I hadn't actually checked before. Emma has also got some really, really great outfits. I love it. Now, duplicate Disney characters. I've got two Moanas. They're two, both different. And two Auroras, also both different, but I prefer the other Aurora that is on my display board. I just, I just prefer her. She's... She's my favorite. <laughs> and some of the subsidiary Disney characters over here, like the Brothers Bear and Olaf's and all sorts of things. Uh, as, oh, this is cool. The Lego elves, they have different outfits. I'm sure you will have noticed this if you collect Lego elves, but they get some pretty rockin' outfits. So very few duplicates past the first year. And these are our three different versions there, even slightly different faces too. So that's really interesting to note. So I keep them together. Farron's face has stayed the same over all of the seasons, but he also gets some really cool outfits as well. And the duplicates are also in the first, the first releases. Uh, Ira has also, we, we, I, just, I just love these. Got lots and lots of Iras here, but all of them are wearing different outfits. <laughs> so awesome. Emily Jones, same thing. Faces of her face does change a little bit. She has some different expressions and her outfits are also cool. Great for adventuring. And uh, her little sister, Sophie, this is Sophie's alternate face. Look, this, this other one's on my display board, the happy one. But she's got this uh, worried face too for when Cronin captures her. <laughs> so it's cool to have different facial expressions. Uh, Nida over here, also great outfits, lots of different ones. I love the new armor ones. And down here are some of the extra characters. Now, here's the answer to Laura's question. Here's Skyra's head and her face. I've kept her very safe because she's unique, but her body is currently up on the board being Sophie's wedding dress. Did you notice that? <laughs> I'm sure some of you would have noticed that. So I know where it is, but I'm keeping it safe. I've also kept her cloak in here. Hold on, she should have a purple cloak. Uh, extra Cronin tops. And of course, another extra one of this little fellow because he's just gorgeous. And Disney princesses, lots of duplicates here, but mm, some of them are different. So many aerials, lots and lots of aerials. And until recently, the tails were all the same. The tails now have got a little embellishment down the bottom. This is her sister's tail. Keep all the little mermaid pieces in here and some little clamshells. Elsa has got this new face, which I don't particularly like. And mind you, she might look at me and say, hey, I don't particularly like your face either. And that would be totally fair. I do like the frozen fever version of Elsa in the green. It's really nice. Different versions of Anna too. Heaps of these. 
well not heaps but lots and I like this one and I also like this one but once again my favorite is up on the board I hope you saw her she, she's got lots of really nice outfits lots of Cinderella's all of them with different outfits and a new face here too also not so sure how much I like that one but I've put my favorite up on the board so Cinderella's <laughs> so many now oh my goodness me I have still got to show you all of the little pieces the accessories and there are boxes and boxes of them because they have multiplied since I last showed you how I sort my Lego so that video is right here where that arrow is pointing you can click the little box and it will take you straight there to check out what is happening with the accessories so I'll see you very soon over at the new video